Hello YouTube, this is Casa Tome here, and in front of me is the old CNB Minecraft 3x3 piston door. Now, I um, was having a little comment discussion, and a Ninja Double Q asked if I could do a video response with a tweak to fix this door. Now, I was assuming, wrongfully, that this would be a fairly simple task of fixing the pulse former so that it didn't do that, but instead, you know, something not too big, not too horrible closes and opens the door. However, it seems ah, over here that there's a little bit of a orientation bug with 151. And when I say a bit, I mean a pretty darn big one. So you see here that does not raise this piston. Again, not. This one does. The piston responds, and I assure you, just for the sake of the video, I'll show you, there is a piston under every one of these blocks. So, there are bits, sorry, there seems to be a bit of an orientation problem um, I'm going to count that as a bug. Very big bug. Now, the initial problem with the door is our standard pulse former. Um, not the one he used in the door, but works the same, I assure you. You hit this button here, and it shoots a one tick pulse, or supposed to anyway. I've got a button here. I'm going to try to grab this, do a side-by-side. -side. There, you can see the... You can see the pulse that it's getting. It's not enough to eject this piston. Now what we have here is a button, a repeater, goes into a block, powers this redstone for a short enough period before this piston extends to spit out this block. As we'll see here, works pretty good. Well, at least I would like to think so. However, if we hop on over to 1.4.7, as indicated right here, we'll see something interesting. This block here, same repeater, same piston, Pretty much a good setup going here. It doesn't work. And the odd thing is... That does. Now, I'll try to get up this torch here. You can see that torch is going a little faster. So works before 151 doesn't work before 151 and as we know this does not work in 151 and this does So that's the issue I faced, is that and our orientation over here. For the most part, this door, which if I think, yes, that way's west, which puts this at the south side. So your orientation is going to be that you have to pulse this from this side 
and you don't need any special um, repeaters, tricks, anything like that. Um, chill close and open. Just fine. Now, we get into the other ones. This bit of redstone here is just me wiring up another button. Now, as you see, everything's the same here for the input. I'll go over this in a bit. Um, I could put it the repeater. Let me push this button directly into this block here, which would pulse through there. But as you see, once this is up, that wouldn't happen. So this bit of redstone comes around here. Doesn't make the door any wider. The door is a bit wider in this direction because of the pulse former and the orientation. And this bit of stuff here can be done either this way or, real quick, can be done like this. Uh, it's a matter of preference, really. Oops, and I think I slightly broke the door. Just a tad. There we go. But, there's a close, open, and repeatability. And that orientation is with the new interface I have on the west side. Now, with this facing north, right here, um, I had a little bit of fun on this one. Powering the piston here, and then this just comes up underneath to here and interfaces with this. The reason for the half slab on all of these is to keep this signal from coming down and powering the whole circuit again, which is what you do not want for this door to work. But if I get a look at the door, there's the open, there's the close. Whew! Let's see, I've covered this one, and there it is. Huh. The only one I can't get to work for some reason, although I have the timings... Well, there we go. <laughs> That'd be my team speak. I've got um, the timings the same. I can close it, but... With the timings for closing, you can see it spits out the block before it's supposed to. And let's open that. If I adjust that so that it does not, then it's too slow. And as you see here, it doesn't get a chance to spit out the block at all. I'm going to blame redstone glitchiness for this one. However, this door, you can still have a door facing this way as long as you observe this right here. As you can see, over here, closed, opens. But you just have to make sure you observe, um, as you see here, which way I'm facing, it's facing east. So as long as this control module here, is I guess what I'll call it, is facing west, you can use this. Now, as far as what I've changed, the original should be over here. Sorry, I've got these doors literally everywhere. All I did was, is I took out this control circuit, essentially, in some parts, all of it. And all I did was, 
for is it this one? Yes, for this one, I added in. You can actually make it easier and maybe looks nicer. Added a repeater here. So this used to be something different. This block here. Actually, if I go right over here, that used to be right here, just a block of sand that would go into this dot. This would pulse up, and then this would also power once this was up and keep it powered. And then that would pulse would run through there. That's why we use the um, slab right here. And that will do pretty much the same job. This pulse will come up through here. And will go into this block because that dot wasn't going to power anymore. And you have to have it pointing into the block. And that will activate that piston. So I have these coming down here. And the reason it comes down first is so I can interface it and get it up. Other than that, the timings here are the same. Now this is the one where the control module here it's facing south. And our timings 2, 2, and 4. And as you see. Now the reason for this extra repeater here is because without the repeater it double pulses so fast that this piston doesn't get a chance to fire the block in and it'll only push one out. It'll still try to double retract. So the only way to solve that is to delay the pulse, which is still quick enough, as you see here. And there's that one. I have another one right here. And what I did here is everything here, this whole control is the same always the same. The only thing that's different, you can see here's the three redstone, is I pulled the redstone in through here and from around the side and this is the pulse former. Now this repeater is here to keep the signal from crossing here and creating a clock. Other than that, this door should give you no problems most of this will be out of sight anyway and you'll have something in here I try to keep it so that you can still have your floor and your walls alright and the last door I have right here is this um, I've tried a few different things I couldn't get this to work one block closer for some reason it wasn't pulsing this piston here. Um, all this is, is I split the signal. This will pulse this, and then this just feeds up into here. As you can see, if I can get the camera to go, this door is, there you go, rather fast. There it is. Um, there's all that. I'm going to go through all the timings. Um, for all of them, again, just to make sure. Um, like I said, the only thing different is how I connect the pulse. This module that you see here is just this. I'll make sure you get a good look at it. I don't plan on a tutorial since there's nothing hidden, really. It's just this repeater. It's two redstone, half slab with a redstone on it, another half slab with a redstone on it pointing into this block. Um, now, the timings on these, let me just make sure, my direction here, okay, north. So this one, with on the north, your pulse has to be on this side. There's nothing special down here, this is all the same. And your timings, this is the ones that are going to change are 2, 2, and 4. 
this one here where it's facing west um, that's it. that's not the pulse <laughs> um, it's right here on this side here like I said this is just me wiring up a second button the timings for this right here two two and three not a four on this one so this is your door um, the control module is on the west side and it's so you can have an uh, an east-west door um, but this is the only east-west you can't build this um, the other way around um, I have it over there and it does not work that's the one I showed you it does not work and this one here is with the control on the south side let me get rid of those and right here nothing special and two two and four and actually on this one here I did miss something underneath on the on the east-west door where the control modules on the west underneath here is a repeater that points into this block and that's just for the for an added delay on this piston down here to get it all working um, so those are the doors they're a little bigger uh, in some cases mostly because of this pulse here now if you have a different pulse former that you want to use um, you go ahead I mean the point is mostly just try to get the pulse in here and then the timings so as long as you keep as long as you keep the timings and everything else it should be okay um, I hope that I covered everything well enough this is more than just a a you know quick fix on the door it goes into the you know the timings and the <laughs> redstone bugs and whatnot um, but if there's anything I didn't cover you'd like me to cover better uh, let me know I'll shoot up a video for it um, just tell me you know hey you didn't go over the timings or you know I want to know how to build this thing you know because you didn't show it good enough you know whatever um, you know if this helped you out go ahead throw it a like um, if you want me to do more of these if this helps and you like the channel go ahead and subscribe um, I don't do just this we do some let's plays and um, whatnot not just Minecraft other games Warframe stuff like that um, so I think that's about it so um, catch you later and you have a great day